today sardana here to bring us a little more uh, you know in deep in depth perspective in fact of uh, how they want to really manage the situation uh, mr vijay sardana i'm sure you've looked at how things have been unfolding in karnataka after the five guarantees have been promised we've had a myriad of uh, you know reactions on one hand there have been people of course who've enjoyed the benefits and who've lauded the efforts of the state when you look at it in terms of political dividends probably it's not how the congress expected it to work we've had some of their own mlas and ministers who've expressed some concerns in the recent past about the guarantees and how it has actually helped the state and now when you look at a fuel price increase and this strategic move of increasing the quantity of milk offered to the people and also increasing the price do you look at this as a real increase and a burden for the common man or do you feel that this is a very well planned and well thought out move by the congress party first of all good evening to all the fellow panelists and the viewers see what is important for us to understand there are two dimensions of this decision Number one, all the parameters related to finances of Karnataka are in deficit. For example, total revenue collection of the Karnataka as budgeted, they are not getting as per the plan. So there is a deficit in the revenue collection. Because there is a deficit in revenue collection, they have to reduce the expenditure. Once you have less revenue collection, you cannot fulfill all the promises which you have made. This is one aspect. now if you look into the political side of it there is a constituency especially karnataka is a quite a big agriculture state barring few it centers and few manufacturing base vote base is actually farmers now you have to convince and please the farmers because when you are increasing the petrol price how you will compensate that fuel impact on the rural economy it means you have to give additional price for the milk collection for farmers you don't have money to pay extra so what is the best thing you take out from the pocket of the consumer and pay to the farmer so what they have done is in this justification of 50 ml extra and charging 2 rupees extra it is basically transferring money from consumer's pocket to farmer's pocket this is one way of looking at it so that you can tell the farmer ki see i have increased the milk prices you are getting now more uh, money so even if there is a increase in fuel prices don't worry i am compensating you because what you are charging or paying to the farmer is definitely less than what you are charging from the consumer so they are trying to balance it they are because they don't have a money so somewhere they have to extract and pay somewhere else so this is what they are trying to do balance between consumers and farmers so this is a smart move now issue is as everybody is saying that why you are asking 2 rupees extra see in delhi and other states also everybody except there is a inflation so there is a increase in price but there is no increase in 50 ml let's be very clear now in this case if you really want to support the consumers i will say you pay 50 ml extra, you give 50 ml extra but don't charge if you are really interested in nutrition otherwise in 2 rupees let me tell you i am a dairy and food technologist also let me tell you milk is very expensive nutrition whatever we say there is a good will there is a social acceptance everything milk is almost 88 to 90% is water only 10% in it means for 50 ml yeah. you are actually giving 5 g nutrition 5 to 6 g in 2 rupees rest is all water so please appreciate that there are much cheaper proteins available for example egg for example soya bean for example any other source of vegetable protein is always cheaper than animal protein including milk protein so if you really want to help the farmers from a nutrition point of view this is not the right strategy but if you want to please the farmers this is the right strategy so this is the way one has to look at very interesting uh, now i'll come to satya prakash once again because we've had a variety of opinions and also another question that i want to throw in here is now i spoke to the kf kmf chairman he said that well we have extra production of milk and you also said that the chief minister too made that statement he says that most of it of course is being used to make you know milk powder which he says it's a dead investment so in most of it of course does not move out now the question here is to somewhere compensate that where the income for the kmf could reduce it becomes a dead investment 
is it okay because a consumer when he goes all of them may not agree that they want that you know 50 ml more at the price of you know 2 rupees extra they would they would have probably been happy with the quantity that they're getting because they were paying lesser so are you shifting the burden on the common man to compensate the farmers is it that kind of a strategy deep, and deep, deep, i think even vijay sardana somewhere agreed that that's how it's really operating here deep, 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 for what vijay said he is asking me ma'am one second so for what vijay said now there are 27 lakh farmers who are who are giving milk to us there were two options before the government there is excess production that is a fact now should we tell we will not procure more milk in front of the kmf and in front of the government there were two things either they can tell the farmer we will not take more milk of course that not but but the, but 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 sudha halka i said there are other options of possibly you know sudha halka and mr them. vijay both of them had other alternatives that you could either give it to the consumer say well we'll give you this additional amount of milk because the produce has been good on the other hand you could have sold it to other states and used it in vijay other means himself. but here the burden shifts to the common man isn't it vijay himself said now whether he actually needs that 50 ml or not whether it is going to be of any help or not that's not being looked at at all no no this is I'm not an option that has been two. given to the consumer directly give me one or two minutes i'll explain vijay himself said we are revenue surplus Please go ahead. we have to create revenue Please go ahead. yes go ahead for all the programs that we have to give now there are more than 1 crore 1 crore or families which are getting most of them again are farmers more than 60% of those uh, beneficiaries will be farmers now the thing before us was the best thing was we will say that no we will not procure more milk then it would have been but we cannot tell like that to the uh, farmer producers because you know the, then what do they do they have to throw the milk so what the government did it is it did a win win situation on one side it should that we will not stop we will not stop procuring the milk point number 1 give it to the poor people one second ask the farmers to stop their production on the other side the government said that Dr. Sudha Halka, let him, let him, let let Mr. Satya Prakash complete, and you have we have enough time for you to as well come in. So let him complete and make his point. So government said that we will not stop the farmers because farmers, uh, the monsoon is good. Let them produce more milk, and we will do it. Second, the second option was to make milk powder. Milk powder all already we have excess. Third point, what uh, someone said was, you know, why don't you sell it to other states? Other states will not buy at this rate. other states will buy it at lesser rate please understand so for the government of the day to set right its finances that is where i said sidramaiah is a very astute finance minister he did a very good thing on one side is protecting the farmers absolutely on the other side he is not no. cheating the customers like what bjp did or modi absolutely did absolutely they are not cheating the farmers and is the people of the world financial situation so so that it is a win win situation for the farmers it is a win win situation for the consumers win -win it is a win win situation, situation for the, for the government moment. they will have enough money for developmental work all the same people said where is no, the development, development the now when we more of resources development will happen is all i want to say mr popanna Where is the Mr. Satya Prakash? Uh, you single know, road, but not one kilometer you, you, of road is developed. Say, you Kata could Kata. say, of course, it is a good move for the government, of course, to earn more, the KMF to earn more, to help the farmers. But at the end of the day, that question still lingers: that whether the common man asked for this, is it being forced upon him? And when anything is being forced upon the people, is it considered a good strategy by the government? Is a question, and how the mindset of the people will work here will also be very definitive. But right now. one easy aspect that everyone notices is that elections are over so taking these sort of difficult decisions which probably is important for the kmf is important for the farmers is only done after the elections because you feel that you know the impact that it will leave on the people's mind won't reflect you know Deepak, in any election